Hi everyone, this is Nikki, otherwise known as Happily Lost. We will be continuing with the series of Q&A on transgender experiences today. In this one, the question will be about my thoughts on support groups and finding and talking to psychologists. So, let us be get into this right after this. comes to support groups. I have heard they can be helpful but I've not found them to be good myself. I don't think my personality worked in them really. They may have changed and maybe it was that particular group. I found them to be petty and small-minded and that there is only one right way to do things. So I dipped my toe in the poor support groups and quickly took it back out again and so did my own thing in the end. In saying that I have heard that they have been helpful for some and supportive for others when dealing with life's difficulties, that they can provide tips and recommendations for transitioning and getting on with life in general. I guess the key to support groups is to understand that there, there is not just one path and not just one time frame for things to occur. Uh, that we all need to live our own lives as we feel fit and on our own terms. If someone does not agree with it, that does not mean it is the wrong or right way. So basically, take what you need and what you want from them. Give as much as you are comfortable with. Don't get caught up with the nonsense which happens in all groups, regardless of what that group is. And don't lose your sense of self, nor yourself. This next question is about finding and talking to a psychologist. The way I view it, a good psychologist is like a good pair of fitting jeans. They are rare to find, but you know when you have a good pair. But to get there, you also have to try many different pairs. One pair does not suit everyone. I have been to many psychologists in my time. Some were just bad for me. I could not talk to them at all. Most take me a long time to open up to, and a few work, worked out how to push when they needed to. A few years ago, I had a really good one who was the right fit for both her and I. She knew when and how to push me. I had her for a couple of years and it was sad when I moved some distance away as I could not see her anymore. But I also knew it was time for me to actually do it. I didn't need her anymore at the time. It comes down to a mix of personalities and getting along being able to be open with them and for them to know you and knowing how to push and challenge you. It is not just what you feel that makes it work, it is also them. Some mixes just do not work and some take a few sessions before it begins to work. The key is to find one that can aid you in your goals where you and they can work together. Sometimes you can go through a number of psychologists before you find the right one. At other times, you need to have a couple, one for your gender goals and another for everything else. But it is best that they know each other or at least of each other. So if you like this content and would like to see more on motorcycles, art and sex related content, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell to be notified of any updates. See you next time. Bye.